Hi, I'm Ron Netter and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. In this video, we will talk about adding 802.11ac 5 GHz to the Raspberry Pi. Now, you're going to say, well, hold it. First, you said it wasn't in there. Well, that was my mistake. I didn't look at one of the menu options correctly. But there is a difference between 802.11a on 5 gig and 802.11ac. And basically, and you, can, you can look this up for yourself, but it comes down to... 802.11a, if that's all your system supports on 5 GHz, and that would be primarily a laptop or a computer that's that's a few years old or a smartphone, that's only going to get you 54 megs theoretical in speed. And I say theoretical, you hear me say that a lot with wireless, because things are great when everything's up to snuff, everything's working right. There could be a driver issue. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that, but there that's why you'll hear me say theoretical, because I don't want you to be disappointed if you don't see that speed. Now... And going to 802.11ac, your theoretical range goes from 54 megabits up to 3.64, something in that range, theoretical, on 5 gigs. So you can see it's a lot faster. But again, you know, your mileage may vary. So just to be upfront with you on that one, there are some, you know, that's the main difference. And that's why it's initially agreed out, because we've got to go turn something on on the Raspberry Pi. Now, this video is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or Podcast. Please go to TechBytesWithRonNutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this video, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on Subscribe and Enable Notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the Like button, which is Thumbs Up. Now, First, we've got to do, talk about a couple things. Now, there's going to be a change we've got to make at the command line. So we're going to have to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. And we've got to give a command, and you'll, you'll see it here in just a bit. Then we're going to make a config change to the Raspberry Pi. And somewhere in the process, and we may have to do it, we'll, we'll see once we get into it, we may have to reboot Raspberry Pi before the GUI knows about it. Because some of these things, when changes are made, it only knows about it on startup. And then we'll actually go through and get on the new 5 gig SSID. And with the Raspberry Pi, then this is a distinction to keep in mind, is you can do 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, but it's not, at least with the Raspberry Pi solution, from what I've seen, there's not a way to do simultaneous 2.4 and 5 gig. And a lot of that probably has to do with the Raspberry Pi, because let's face it, there's only so much circuitry you can fit on that small of a board. Just so that we have that all up front. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll switch over to command line. Okay, now just like I mentioned earlier, I've already got an SSH session set up to my Raspberry Pi box and we're going to need to see the end of the command that I've got right up here, which is sudo, well, get clicked in the right window here, sudo space iw reg set us. And better make it caps because that was the way I found it. Okay, now we've got that part done. Now let's go to, oh, I didn't want to do that. Here we go. And that window's already there. So we'll go up here to Raspberry P and, and it said we want to go to, let me check my notes here. Go to advanced tab of configure hotspot. Well, Hotspot, advanced, and we will have to set country code, which we've already kind of done, but okay. And we will save settings. And now it said now we should be able to choose. Now the proof is in the pudding. Okay, bingo. I was expecting that to be, require a restart. So I stand corrected. Thank you, good folks at Raspberry P. So now we'll change that over to 802.11ac. Now this is one other thing, and this will take some investigating. Now this is the channels in the U.S. that it knows how to handle. Keep in mind, you will have to set your country here, and not all countries have 5 gigahertz support or have all the channels. Now, this is one thing that you need to be aware of with the Raspberry Pi is you have to set your channels individually. It's not like an auto roaming piece like you will have on some access points. So you may want to do some looking ahead of time using tools such as 
Uh, there, there's, well, there's a variety of tools out there that you can use, like with a laptop or a smartphone, to let you see what channels are currently in use. Because if, if you have to manually pick them out, then you obviously don't want to pick one that's that's already in use. So we'll go ahead and click Restart Hotspot. So it's done. So now we will switch over to our smartphone and get the rest of this party taken care of. Switch over here. And then we'll drag down here. And of course, right now I'm on my normal one. So if we go Rasp GUI, and it should already remember the credentials from the last time. And connecting, it says connected. All right. And it took a little while to, um, cable came loose. Sorry about that. So as you can see, it's really very straightforward. I'm trying to minimize how much that you have to go into the command line, but sometimes going to the command line is simply the easiest way to go. So with that, we've got everything up and running and you've now got an 802.11 AC SSID ready to go. So hopefully that uh, gave you a little more insight on what RASP AP can do for you. So you're going to see some videos to my right or to my left that are the next steps to the one that you have watched or other content that I have produced. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, which is thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.